Hello and welcome to my garden and the dinosaurs who live there. We are on the 28th of January. It's actually really mild. It's about 11 degrees C here today. You can't see it but the chickens are all out <laughs> wandering around having a dig investigating the things that I've just planted. I put some shrubs in uh, and a variety of you know digging about and having great fun. Uh, I'm sure they will pop up from time to time but what I want oh in fact here they are but what I want to do today is start sowing some seeds. I have already sown one batch of seeds this year so far and that was I think a week ago and I popped in some onion seeds Bedfordshire Champion. They're now sitting in a little um, with a little perspex lid on and they're on the kitchen windowsill. The onion seeds were meant to be used by 2023 so I don't know whether they'll come up or not but we'll see. <laughs> I could always sow some more or I can get some sets, although this year I, I quite fancied sowing at least some of my own onions from seed. So that's done, but I've got another few things that I want to actually get started. Of course, we've got at least another five weeks of potentially you know, dreadful weather. It depends what the rest of the winter throws at us. But... Um, the sowings that I'm going to do just now are going to be kept indoors. Uh, I've got my heat mats etc set up for those that need it. Some other things may go onto the windowsill. There may be a couple of things that I actually put into the polytunnel. But uh, yeah, so I thought I would show you what I'm sowing. Really, these are seeds that you either want to be sowing tail end of January or into February. I've got some more seeds that I will sow uh, later on in February as well. So really these are my January slash February seed sowings. Okay so the first thing that I'm going to do is sow my sweet peas. Now to be fair I use, usually sow my sweet peas about October time and overwinter them but I didn't do that last year just didn't get round to it so uh, I'm going to sow them now. Now these, um, I've got three varieties of sweet pea to sow and these I will put into the polytunnel. I've got a sort of grow house within the polytunnel so that'll give them almost like a double uh, double lot of protection and I'll put also a, a, a propagator lid over the top so it won't be heat but um, they'll be protected uh, under the propagator lid, in the grow house and then within the polytunnel so that should get them give them enough protection and let them start to grow. Now I have prepared my sweet peas and here's the first one. This is called sweet pea eh, Capricorn mixed. Um, this is from eh, Dobby's and I've actually got the seeds themselves in this little tub and it is, um, they've been in here for about an hour in quite warm water and I do this to sort of soften a little bit to soften the the shell of the seeds and to make sure they're nice and uh, hydrated before I plant them. Now there's all sorts of schools of thought you could just uh, sow the seeds plug them in without any prep it works it's fine they just take a little bit longer to um, germinate. Some people leave them in cold water overnight, uh, some people uh, scarify, so sort of use a nail file or whatever and scrape the shell a little bit just to give uh, the, the seeds the opportunity to, to germinate faster. I suppose it just lets the moisture in through the shell and perhaps the, the, the roots to come out, uh, a sort of an easier root to come out if you like. Um, I tend to, I usually do this, I usually do quite hot water, usually leave them for two to three hours but I wasn't that organised but um, it was quite hot water when I put these in so it will give them a little, a little start if you like. Now I've got three varieties and I've done them all the same way and I'm going to plant them into uh, these sort of deep, almost like root trainer type, uh, a root trainer type cell tray. 
So I have put in here, they've actually used multi-purpose compost and mixed it with ver vermiculite. The sweet peas are going to be in here for a while and I just like having multi-purpose compost in here because it has a little bit more nutrients than seed sowing compost because these are going to be in here for a, a, a bit. I'm not going to transplant them from these anywhere else except out when I actually sow them outside. So, um, I can't remember how many, how many seeds we get here. Uh, it doesn't appear to tell me but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop two in each of these little cells which is to be honest what I usually do um, and I will just take two just push them in slightly and I'll top this up with uh, vermiculite let's get some out here You want to get them fairly deep, so I'm going up to the first knuckle in my finger. That's my measure when I push them in. Because I'm done with straining this before I come out. So I'm not going to bore you with me doing them all. So what I'll do is I'll bring you back uh, once this is complete and we'll have a look at the next thing that I'm going to be sewing. Okay, so here we can see the sweet peas are all now sewn. So we've got Capricorn, Giant Wave, and this is actually a Dobby's uh, own one. So this is Dobby's Giant Wave and this is um, lipstick, I grew lipstick last year so should have hopefully lots of lovely sweet peas to look forward to in um, early summer and through the summer so yeah, that's that done I'll pop these aside just now now I've got a, a whole pile more seeds to sow the first being some shallots. So I'm going to sow some Zebrun shallots. I do already have some shallots I'm growing from sets, but uh, I'm going to start these off uh, from seed. And I got these seeds from Steve House, the Digwell Greenfingers YouTube channel, and he's got a little um, uh, membership group that you can join, a gardening club if you like, and you get sent lots of lovely seeds every month. And he sent us out shallots this month. These the Bruins shallots. So I'm going to pop these in. They are... Oh, they've stuck to the, the label. So they're teeny tiny. Can I even show you them? There we go. And I'm just going to broadcast them. Try and cover this. Um, you know use the space if you like but I'm going to pop them all in here and what the aim is is to get these to germinate and then I will transplant them on to individual pots or cells so that's them in I'm going to get my trusty vermiculite I don't want to put too much of a cover on them now so it goes without saying, hopefully, that I will give everything that I'm sowing today a, li a light sprinkle of water, just, um, even though the compost is a little bit damp, but just to get them on their way. And the shallots will be coming into the house. I won't be putting them uh, on heat, though. I will just put a little uh, Perspex lid on and I'll grow these on the windowsill and hopefully they will germinate fine there. 
Okay, next, I'm going to sow some, some more seeds that I got from Steve's Gardening Club. And it's actually called, let's see, a Bori Coal uh, Red Rubble. And it's a sort of, uh, it's a, a salad leaf, it's a red salad leaf, which I believe you get them quite often in shop-bought salads, salad bags and so on. So I may well have tried it, but I haven't knowingly. <laughs> so... Lots of seeds here, thanks Steve. So I'll sow the first batch. I'll probably sow some more later on, maybe in four weeks' time, so that we get a little bit of succession. Actually, I've actually brought too many out of the bag. Now, this, again, I'll bring it indoors and I'll put it on the windowsill. I, I won't give it any heat. Lettuce doesn't need heat, really. Um, move that over. Get some vermiculite on top. There we go. Right, the next thing I'm going to sh sow is some flowers, and these are hollyhocks um, called Spring Celebrities. And these will need heat to germinate. So once I've sown them, I will take them indoors and put them on a heat mat. And I'll show you that a little later. My aim this year is to have lots more flowers in the garden than even last year. But, um, of course, that's a lot more growing to do and sowing at this time of year. There's not that many seeds here. There might be ten. So I will just pop them all in this little quarter tray. Again, I've got seed sowing compost with some vermiculite mixed through and then I'll top this off with vermiculite. They are tiny, tiny seeds. Now hollyhocks are biennial really, um, or short-lived perennial perhaps, and uh, I, but because I'm sowing them early, I'm hoping I will get flowers this year with them. So the plan is just to pop them all in here, get them growing, and then I'll repot them into larger modules or pots. I won't need much in the way of vermiculite over this but I'll put a little bit. There we go. Um, I think I did have a, a label. Where did that go? Hmm. The chickens have been interfering with things while my head's been turned. Where did that go? I think I'll have to write a new label. Fortunately, I have them. Hollyhock. There we go. <clears throat> Still on flowers. I am going to pop in some carnations. Now, actually, now actually I've got one of these um, little cell trees. I got these in a, a set with the base and a perspex lid, and the perspex lid has got a light on it um, for when we actually have some seedlings come through. So I think I'll use this again. The um, We're going to be popping the carnations uh, on some heat to have them to properly germinate. So where are we? Carnations, uh, Shabod Enchantment Mix. Let's just see what the seeds look like here. I've never grown carnations before. So it's the first, and I bet you, yeah, they're tiny. Tiny, tiny, tiny. So let's see if we can get 
maybe a couple in each of these cells. Okay. Oh, there's more there. There we go. Actually, there's enough to keep. There we go. And again, a little teeny tiny top up of vermiculite since they're very, very small. We don't want to exclude all the light completely but this just helps keep them moist, really. Yeah. So that is Carnation Shabod. And again, that will be going indoors. Now I have another one of these little trees. Let me just move over. And this is going to be for... Oh, some more flowers. Stock. So I've got some stalks that I'm going to sow there called early bird, early bird Mixed. So I'm just going to do the same thing as I did with the carnations. Stocks early bird mix. Put that there. Ooh. Okay. I've got a couple more things to pop in. Uh, I'm going to put in some lettuce. This is four seasons. Uh, and the lettuce I will bring into the house to germinate. Oh, I'm just looking behind you. The bird feeder is just over there. Who's that? That was quite large. I think maybe it was... Oh, there's a robin. It wasn't the robin. But I think it was a great... A great tit. Yay! It's nice to be able to see the birds. Sorry that you can't see them and I can't really turn you around or they disappear. Excellent. Anyway, <laughs> so yeah, lettuces I'll I'll put on the, the windowsill in the house to get them to germinate and then I'll, as they get bigger I'll pot them on and probably bring them out then into the polytunnel and then eventually outside. They don't mind it cold but obviously we want them to germinate so we need to give them, you know, protect them a little bit from the inclement weather I would say. So I'm just going to sprinkle potentially quite a lot here. And I will do more of these in four weeks' time to get some succession. Because as well as myself eating the lettuce, uh, I have hungry mouths where the chickens and the quail are concerned. So um, there's always a, a need for lettuce in this house. Got my label. Finally, for today, I am going to sow some more flowers, and these are antirhinum or snapdragons, and these are called. This is um, these are from Dobby's, and again, they're Dobby's own, so it's Dobby's Giant Flowered Mixed, uh, and I'll just pop them into one of these quarter trays again, and these will go on heat. Oh. Tiny seeds. Absolutely minute. Let me see if I can show you. Look at these. They're teeny, teeny, tiny. Right, so I won't need to sow all of these. Hello, Mr. Robin. Right. Plenty more of those to do later. And I 
again just a hint of vermiculite there we go right so I've got sweet peas carnations hollyhocks snapdragons stock I've got some lettuce and some sort of red uh, lettuce leaves and then the shallots so that um, I think is all I'm going to do for now and um, I'll certainly be sowing more in the coming couple of weeks uh, to get them started um, I think I'm going to be sowing my peppers and later on in the month potentially I'll be starting off my tomatoes um, plus some other flowers and some other uh, salady stuff so it's really a great feeling getting things sewn, I have to say. Let me know um, if you've got anything started off yet uh, or if you're holding back and maybe going to sew later on in February or into March even. Um, I'd love to know what uh, your plan of attack is for getting your seeds, seeds started. Anyway, for now, that's me. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you have and I will talk to you again very, very soon. Bye-bye for now. Bye.